Aroma. An aroma is a scent or smell. I love the aroma of coffee in the morning. Beverage. A beverage is a drink. The waiter brought our beverages first, then he brought our food. Cluster. A cluster of things is a small group of them placed close together. She held a large cluster of grapes in her hand. Combine. To combine is to join together to make a single thing or group. Mina combined peanut butter and jelly to make a sandwich. Condensed. When a liquid is condensed, it is made thicker. One way to make a dessert thick and sweet is to use condensed milk. Contemporary. When something is contemporary, it is related to the present time. Contemporary scientists have learned quite a bit about DNA. Cultivate. To cultivate plants is to care for them and help them grow. A research company is cultivating new kinds of rice to aid poor countries. Divine. When something is divine, it is related to gods. Legends say that music was given to men as a divine gift from the gods. Humid. When it is humid, there is a lot of water in the air. It is very humid inside of a sauna. Odor. An odor is a very distinct smell. He knew there was a leak when he noticed the strong odor of natural gas. Palate. The palate is the top part of the mouth. You can touch your palate with your tongue. Paradise. Paradise is the place or condition of happiness where things are perfect. My vacation in Hawaii was like being in paradise. Plantation. A plantation is a big farm that only grows certain kinds of crops. In the 1800s, there were many cotton plantations in the southern U.S. Rapid. When something is rapid, it moves or changes very quickly. His mother was surprised by her son's rapid growth. Rate. A rate is the speed at which something happens. Grass tends to grow at a very slow rate. Soothing. When something is soothing, it makes you calm or relaxed. The soothing music helped the baby fall asleep. Subtle. When something is subtle, it is not easy to see or notice. The handsome man has a subtle smile. Texture. Texture is the quality of something that can be known by its touch. The texture of her skin was very soft and smooth. Toxic. When something is toxic, it is poisonous. Toxic things are very dangerous. Please check the label to see if the product is toxic. Vary. To vary means to be different from another thing in size or amount. The heights of the people in my class vary by a large amount. The history of chocolate. Many people believe that chocolate originally came from Europe. However, chocolate, called the food of the gods, was first made in the Americas. The first chocolate was very different from contemporary chocolate. Wild chocolate trees can grow easily in the humid Amazon rainforest. Clusters of flowers growing on these trees turn to seeds.
About 20 to 60 cacao beans can be found in the seeds. Cacao beans are the ingredient needed to create sweet, soothing, and delicious chocolate treats. The Mayan and Aztec cultures both thought that chocolate trees were brought from paradise by gods. The Mayans and Aztecs used the beans from this divine tree to create a special beverage with a very pleasant odor. Surprisingly, the Aztecs believed that it would be toxic to women and children. In the 1500s, the Spanish explorer Cortés met the Aztecs. Cortés became quite interested in the plantations where the Aztecs cultivated chocolate trees. When he returned to Europe, he took cacao beans with him. He introduced the people of Spain to the Aztecs' chocolate beverage. Over the next 100 years or so, kings, queens, and members of the upper class enjoyed drinking chocolate. They enjoyed it even more once they learned to add sugar to the beverage. Soon, chocolate had spread all across Europe. New machines allowed chocolate makers to perfect their products and produce them at a very rapid rate. Preparing the beans in special ways brought out the aroma of chocolate. The beans were combined with condensed milk to give the chocolate a smooth texture. Today, Contemporary chocolates with subtle flavors fill the shelves of expensive chocolate shops. The different types of chocolate available today vary widely. True chocolate lovers can tell which is best, though. They will tell you that the flavor of high-quality chocolate stays on the palate long after you finish it. Accident An accident is an unexpected, undesirable event. She had to go to the hospital after she was in a serious car accident. Admiral An admiral is someone who controls many military ships. They won the sea battle because of the admiral's great leadership. Arc An arc is a curved shape. A rainbow has the shape of an arc. Character. Your character is your personality. My sister's character is fun and very outgoing. Conscience. Your conscience is your inner sense of what is right and wrong. I recycle everything I can, so my conscience is clear. Fiery. If something is fiery, it is burning strongly. The fiery blaze burned all night long. Flesh Flesh is the skin, muscle, and fat on your body. The zebra's flesh has black and white stripes. Grapefruit a grapefruit is a fruit similar to an orange, but bigger and not as sweet. Would you like a grapefruit with your breakfast? Hay Hay is dry grass used to feed animals or used as a covering. I need to buy some more hay for the horse to sleep on. Horrified if you are horrified, you are very shocked and feel upset. I was horrified when I read about the old lady who was attacked. Kerosene Kerosene is a type of oil. It is used in some lamps and stoves. Many people in poor countries cook on kerosene stoves. Loop a loop is a line made into the shape of a circle. He made a loop with the rope and placed it over the post. Paddle A paddle is a piece of wood or plastic that moves a boat across water. We need a paddle to help us move across the water. Raft a raft is a floating platform made from pieces of wood tied together. The man made a raft out of bamboo and floated out to sea. 
sour. When something is sour, it has a sharp and unpleasant taste. I don't like lemons because I think they are too sour. Steak. A steak is a small, sharp piece of wood or metal that is put into the ground. We marked our property by placing stakes into the ground. Steward. A steward is a person like a waiter who serves food on planes and ships. The steward is bringing some tea. String. String is a thin piece of fabric or rope. I found a large ball of string. Thorn. A thorn is a sharp part of a plant. Be careful of the thorns when you pick the roses. Wreck. To wreck something means to destroy or ruin it. The teenagers wrecked the house for no reason at all. Monkey Island. In the middle of the ocean, there is a small island shaped like an ark. Here, monkeys play on the beach and in the trees. But how did the monkeys get there? Once, an English admiral was exploring Africa when he found hundreds of monkeys. The admiral's character was mean. He thought, "I could sell these monkeys and become very rich. I'm going to take them to England." So the admiral set traps to catch the monkeys. He put stakes in the ground, tied string around them. And made loops in the string. When the monkeys ran through the forest, their feet got caught in the loops, and they couldn't escape. Then the admiral put the monkeys in cages on his ship and sailed away. The cages were small and uncomfortable. There was no soft hay for the monkeys to sleep on. Instead, they slept on branches with sharp thorns that cut into the monkeys' flesh. For dinner, he gave them tiny pieces of sour grapefruit to eat. The monkeys grew hungry and weak, but one day the admiral hired a new steward. He was a kind man with a good conscience. He was horrified to see the thin monkeys in the cages. So one night he let them out. The monkeys ran and played all over the ship. They attacked the admiral and the steward and ate their food. They completely wrecked the ship. One monkey ran into a kerosene lamp and it fell over. The ship caught fire and began to sink. The whole crew was lost except for the monkeys. After the accident, the monkeys jumped onto a raft. They floated away from the fiery blaze of the ship. In the morning, they saw a little island in the distance. The monkeys used a piece of wood as a paddle, and they went toward it. They found the island shaped like an ark. They felt so happy to find a new home, and they still live there today. Admonish. To admonish someone is to tell them you disapprove of their behavior. The teacher admonished Mark because he was chewing gum in class. Audible. If something is audible, then it is able to be heard. The sound of the drums was audible from miles away. Awesome. If something or someone is awesome, they are impressive or frightening. The huge military plane was an awesome sight. Beware. To beware means to be careful of something or someone that is dangerous. You should beware of driving fast on wet roads. Brag. To brag means to talk of one's abilities or achievements in a proud way. He had strong muscles and bragged about it to the entire class. Conscious. If someone is conscious of something, then they are aware of it. The new student was conscious of the other students staring at her. Disagree. To disagree with someone means to have a different opinion from them. The lawyers disagreed about the best way to settle the case.
Echo. To echo means that a sound repeats itself because it bounced off an object. The child yelled over the canyon, and the wall echoed the sound. Eventual. If something is eventual, it will happen at the end of a series of events. The constant training and planning led the team to an eventual victory. Hint. A hint is information that suggests something will happen or is true. I quietly passed on a hint to my sister about the test. Idiot. An idiot is a person who is not smart or who has done something silly. Because he got lost in the forest, the man felt like an idiot. Immense. If something is immense, it is very large. An immense amount of money was needed to buy such a large boat. Indirect. If something is indirect, then it is not the easiest or straightest way. He chose to take the most indirect route to the coast. Option. An option is a choice between two or more things. The children were given the option of three houses to pick from. Pastime. A pastime is an activity done for fun that you do often. In the U.S., baseball is considered the national pastime. Perfect. If something is perfect, then it is without any mistakes. She got all the questions right, so her score was perfect. Pinpoint. To pinpoint something means to locate it exactly. The navigation system in my car is able to pinpoint my exact location. Switch. To switch means to change something to something else. Mom switched the TV station from the news to her favorite show. Thorough. If something or someone is thorough, then they are complete in every way. Tina did a thorough job of cleaning the stains out of the carpet. Torment. To torment someone means to cause them to suffer on purpose. She tormented her little brother by taking his favorite toy. The young man and the old man. A proud young man was looking for a new pastime. He heard about people hiking in the national parks and decided to try it for himself. As he started his stroll, an old man walked up to him. "Don't go this way," the old man said. "Beware, the paths are not clear. It's easy to become lost." But the young man disagreed with the old man and bragged that he had a perfect understanding of the park. I studied maps of this area," he told him. "I believe I have a thorough knowledge of these trails. I won't become lost." The old man listened to the young man and then admonished him for his pride. "I have walked these trails my entire life," he said. "If you think you will be safe, then go ahead." The young man ignored the old man and started along the trail. Whenever he had to choose between an easy or difficult route, he always chose the more difficult option. In addition, he was not conscious of which direction he was going. After a while, he decided to return home. Because his course through the wilderness was so indirect, he had no idea where he was. He looked at his map but could not pinpoint his location. He walked one path after another, but soon realized he was lost. The sun was going down, and sudden strong winds gave a hint that it might rain. Immense clouds filled the sky. Awesome sounds of thunder were audible from all directions. It echoed off the mountains. The thought of the eventual storm tormented the young man. He hurried in one direction, but soon switched out of confusion. Luckily, it led him out of the park. When he arrived home, he knew that he had acted like an idiot. 
he realized he was lucky to be alive. He decided to listen to people with more experience than himself. Beak A beak is the hard, curved part of a bird's mouth. The bird used her beak to dig a small hole in the ground. Damp If something is damp, it is somewhat wet. My hair is still damp from my shower. Disapprove To disapprove of something is to think that it is wrong. Alex disapproved of his son's behavior. Accept You use accept to talk about the only thing that a statement does not apply to. Everyone had fun on the trip except Jim, who felt ill the whole time. Flight A flight is an act of flying, often in an airplane. The airplane made a flight around the world. Fond When someone is fond of something, they like it. I am very fond of chocolate cake. Immoral When something or someone is immoral, they are evil or do bad things. Stealing money from one's mother is an immoral act. Ivy Ivy is a plant with long vines that grows upward, typically on walls. The walls of the castle are covered with ivy. Moan To moan is to make a low sound when feeling pain or sadness. The sick man moaned from his bed. Oblivious If someone is oblivious of something, they are unaware of it. I was late to school because I was oblivious of the time. Perish To perish means to die, usually because of bad conditions or a bad events. Many people perish in wars. Pit A pit is a big hole in the ground. Michael fell into the pit and needed some help to get out. Rim The rim is the outside edge of a round thing, like a cup or bottle. I put my lips to the rim of the bottle and took a drink. Roost A roost is a place where birds can land and rest or sleep. The family of doves made a roost at the top of the tree. Slippery If something is slippery, it is wet or smooth and causes people to slip. The repairman fell down on the floor because it was too slippery. Soar To soar means to fly high in the air. As the sun rose, Two eagles soared through the sky. Trivial If something is trivial, it is not important or meaningful. Television is trivial, but learning to read is very important. Typical If something is typical, it is normal for a certain type of thing. Barking is typical behavior for dogs. Utterly If something is utterly away, it is completely that way. When the sun was blocked by the moon, it was utterly dark outside. Weep To weep means to cry. My sister told me the dramatic movie would make me weep. The Tricky Fox There was a fox that lived in the forest. Fox loved to play mean tricks on the other animals. One day, 
He used the sharp rim of a bottle to dig a pit in the ground. He hid in a tree until Rabbit came to the pit's edge. Then he jumped out and pushed Rabbit into the pit. Fox laughed and ran away. The angry Rabbit climbed out and told the other animals what happened. The others said, "That is typical behavior for Fox. He does mean things all the time. Sometimes he is completely immoral. We all disapprove of his actions." So we should teach him a lesson. Tomorrow we'll push Fox into that pit. The next day, all of the animals hid near the pit and waited for Fox. Fox was oblivious to the hidden animals. He walked up to the pit to see if Rabbit was still trapped. Just then, the other animals ran up to Fox and pushed him in. All the animals laughed and cheered, except Fox, of course. Fox couldn't get out. The walls of the pit were covered in damp ivy. It was too slippery for him to climb out. He was utterly helpless. He moaned and began to weep. At last, he saw Eagle watching him from her roost. He yelled, "Eagle, please help me! If I don't get out of here, I will perish!" Eagle said, "You may think your tricks are trivial, but you hurt others when you do mean things." I'll help you if you promise to be nice," Fox said. "I promise." Eagle began her flight to the bottom of the pit. She picked up Fox with her beak and soared out of the pit. She dropped Fox safely on the ground. Fox thanked Eagle and kept his promise. He was nice to the other animals. The animals even became fond of Fox, and the forest was a happy place. A while. If you do something a while, you do it for a short time. Wait here a while, and I'll bring some tea. Cyberspace. Cyberspace is the imaginary place of the internet where activities occur. I didn't receive your email. It probably got lost in cyberspace. Edit. To edit means to correct a piece of writing so that it is suitable to be published. She asked her brother to edit her paper before she submitted it to her teacher. Essay. An essay is a short piece of writing on a certain subject. She had to write a two-page essay for her English class. Evaluate. To evaluate something means to study it so a decision can be made. Joe and Ken evaluated the plan and agreed that it would work. Faint. To faint means to go unconscious and fall down. Carol fainted because she hadn't eaten in over a day. Global. If something is global, it happens all around the world. Pollution is a global problem. Gymnasium. A gymnasium is a building with equipment that you can use to get exercise. When I go to the gymnasium, I use the treadmill for twenty minutes. Highlight. To highlight something means to mark it with a color so that it is easy to see. I read my vocabulary list and highlighted the most difficult words. Ignorant. If someone is ignorant about something, they have no knowledge about it. I am a bit ignorant about his theories. Can you explain them to me? Index. An index is a list of words at the end of a book that gives information. If you look in the index, you'll find the right page number. Lecture. A lecture is a long educational speech. His lecture on world hunger was very informative. Moral. A moral is a message at the end of a story that teaches you something. At the end of the story, mother explained the moral to the children.
operate. To operate means to work or function. I'm sorry, but the trains are not operating today. Private. If something is private, it is only used by one person or group. Don't look at my diary. It's private. Recent. When something is recent, it happened a short time ago. I did not know what caused his recent behavior. Resolution. A resolution is a personal decision. At New Year, I made a list of resolutions to help me have a better year. Semester. A semester is a portion of a school year. Jack is in his second semester of college. Typewritten. If something is typewritten, it is written on a computer or typewriter. This is an important formal project and must be typewritten. Weird. When something is weird, it is very strange. My best friend's dad is a bit weird. The magic computer. I had a difficult geography project to finish by the end of the semester. My teacher wanted it to be typewritten, so I went to the school computer room. But when I got there, all the computers were turned off. Apparently, there was a recent problem, and technicians were fixing it. I knew of some private study rooms downstairs. They were small and dark, and the computers were very old. But I had no choice. At least the computers were operating correctly. I typed and highlighted the assignment's title. Evaluate the government's response to global warming, but I didn't know what to write in my essay. Finally, I decided to find a book to help me. I went to the library, checked the book indexes, and eventually found a useful book. Then I returned to the computer. When I looked at the screen, I saw something so weird that I nearly fainted. The essay was complete. Had somebody in cyberspace written it? I didn't know, but I was very happy. I printed it out and handed it in. I got an A. After that, I used the computer for all my assignments. I'd type the title, wait a while, and the computer would do it. Every assignment was perfect. I never had to edit anything. I stopped paying attention to my teacher's lectures and spent my extra time in the gymnasium, and my grades got better and better. A month later, I was walking into class when my friend said, "Are you prepared for the test?" "What test?" I asked. The geography test," he replied. "I hope you studied. It's worth seventy percent of our final grade." I failed the test, of course. I was completely ignorant about the subject. After that, I made a resolution never to use the magic computer again. The moral of this story is that if you cheat at school, you won't learn anything. Absolute. If something is absolute, it is total or complete. My presentation was an absolute disaster. It was terrible. Alas. Alas is a word that people say when something bad happens. I looked everywhere for my purse, but alas, I couldn't find it. Attentive. If you are attentive, you are careful and you pay attention. He is a good student because he is attentive to every detail on his work. Cape. A cape is a large cloth that covers one's back and is tied around the neck. The superhero wore a long red cape. Envision. To envision something means to imagine that it may happen. I can envision my mom's face when I give her this present. Evenly. When something happens evenly, it happens at the same rate or level. The food was handed out evenly among the hungry people. Folk. Folk are common or average people. 
I've invited all the folks from our street to a gathering at my place. Melt. To melt means to turn from a solid to a liquid. The snowman that we made yesterday melted in the sun. Patch. A patch is a part of a surface that is different in appearance from the rest. There was one small patch of grass in the sand-covered desert. Pleasure. Pleasure is a feeling of happiness. The student smiled with pleasure when she received the prize. Pop. A pop is a short, loud sound. I heard a loud pop. Then my computer screen shattered. Pudding. A pudding is a sweet dessert. Would you like some chocolate pudding and coffee for dessert? Rail. A rail is a horizontal bar made of metal or wood. The cat was sitting on the rail of the fence. Recipe. A recipe is a set of instructions to make food. The apple cake that you made is really tasty. Can I have the recipe, please? Roll. A roll is the normal purpose or function of a person or thing. My role at work is to check the quality of the products. Shrink. To shrink means to get smaller. If you stick to a healthy diet, your stomach will shrink. Soak. To soak something means to make it very wet. You need to soak these beans overnight before you cook them. Spark. A spark is a small, quick flash of fire. As he welded the two pieces of metal together, sparks flew everywhere. Spirit. A spirit is someone's feelings and personality, but not a physical body part. He has a very outgoing spirit. He can make friends with anyone. Suit. A suit is a set of clothes. It usually includes a jacket with pants or a skirt. I wore my new suit on my date with Melissa. Jack Frost and the Pudding. Every winter, a magical boy with a wild spirit named Jack Frost arrives in town. He wears a white cape, and his role is to cover everything with frost and ice. But Jack Frost also gets pleasure from playing tricks on common folks. One dark winter evening, he was sitting on the rail of a fence near a river, pointing at some trees. When he did so, there was a pop, and the trees were evenly covered in frost. Then Old Tom Muggins came along the path. He was carrying a basket of ingredients for his wife's cake recipe. "I'll have some fun with him," said Jack Frost. He pointed, and suddenly there was a patch of ice on the path. Poor Tom slipped and fell into the river. The bags of flour, fruit, and sugar fell open and got wet. A couple of eggs broke, and a stick of butter shrank in the water. Tom gathered the ingredients and climbed out of the river. The food made an absolute mess of the path. Alas! He cried. There'll be no cake for me. Jack Frost laughed at poor Tom because his nice suit got soaked as well. Are you cold? He said. Don't worry, I'll make you warm. He pointed at the mess in Tom's basket. Suddenly there was a spark. What was left of the food caught fire. Jack Frost ran off laughing. Poor Tom sat by the fire. He could only envision how angry his wife would be. He wished he had been more attentive and noticed that Jack was around. Suddenly, a pleasant smell came from the basket. Tom looked inside. The butter was melting, and the eggs were starting to cook. Even the fruit began to simmer. 
Soon there was a fat brown pudding in the basket. Tom tasted it. It was delicious. He happily took it home for dessert. Although Jack Frost had tried to make Tom's life difficult, Jack had actually made Tom a wonderful pudding. Account. An account with a bank is an arrangement to keep one's money there. After I paid for the new car, my bank account was nearly empty. Architect. An architect is a person who designs buildings. The plans for building the new home were drawn by a famous architect. Conceal. To conceal something means to hide it. You should conceal your money so no one can take it from you. Crime. A crime is something bad that a person does that can be punished by law. Police quickly arrived at the scene of the crime. Deed. A deed is a certificate that proves that someone owns something. When she bought the car, she was given a deed to show the car was hers. Gratitude. Gratitude is a feeling of being thankful. The kids showed Aunt Tess much gratitude for visiting them. Habitat. A habitat is the natural home of animals or plants. Frogs are often found in a wet habitat, such as near a lake, river, or pond. Intervene. To intervene means to help stop a problem between two people or groups. The students argued until the teacher intervened. Landmark. A landmark is an object that helps people find or remember a location. The tall tree was used as a landmark for people to find the road to the inn. Legal. If something is legal, it is related to the law or allowed by the law. It was not legal for him to drive until he was 18 years old. Memorable. If something is memorable, then it is remembered for a special reason. The party was memorable. People were still talking about it years later. Oblige. To oblige someone means to require them to do something. If I wanted to have playtime, I was obliged to clean my room once a week. Offense. An offense is an action that breaks the law and requires punishment. He was put in jail for two days for the offense. Proclaim. To proclaim something means to say it in public. The army general proclaimed that the war was won. Rally. A rally is a large public meeting in order to support something. The school had a rally in the gym to support the basketball team. Resolve. To resolve something means to find a solution. She resolved the problem with her children by giving them both a toy. Resource. Resources are a person or country's money and materials that they can use. The poor man didn't have the resources to feed himself. Sentence. A sentence is punishment given to someone who didn't follow the law. The sentence for stealing a car is much worse than for stealing candy. Volunteer. To volunteer means to offer to do something for free. Many people volunteered to help the adults learn to read. 
Witness. A witness is someone who sees or hears a crime or accident happen. The woman was the only witness of the horrible crime. The architect's plan. An architect wanted to build a new office building. He selected some land that seemed perfect. He planned to cut down the trees to make room for the building, but there was a problem, a big problem. The land was actually the habitat of several types of birds. Some nature lovers were very upset with the architect. First, they held a rally and told others about the issue. Then they decided to take legal action because the architect didn't respect the animals' rights. To resolve the problem, they asked a judge to intervene. The judge could not call any witnesses for the nature lovers, so he first asked the architect to tell his side of the story. Why are you going to destroy the birds' habitat? The judge asked. The architect replied, "I have the deed to the land. I want to make a great building there. As you may know, all my buildings become memorable landmarks." Then one of the nature lovers spoke. We believe that there is no reason to destroy all the trees. We just want to protect the birds. Then the judge made his decision. I proclaim that the office building should be built, he said. It is not a crime to remove those trees. I cannot give you a sentence for any offenses, but I feel obliged to make one request. I will only allow you to use half of the land. The other half will remain free, so the birds have a place to live. The nature lovers could not conceal their gratitude. All of the people cheered. The architect said, "I have an idea. I will volunteer my time and efforts to design a new type of building. It will provide bushes on the roof where birds can live. There are enough resources in my company's bank account to create the best building ever made." The architect did exactly as he promised. He built this new type of building, which was loved by everyone. Access. Access is the right to enter or use something. The manager was the only person with access to the password. Conduct. Conduct is the way that someone acts. She was punished for her bad conduct. Constant. When an event or action is constant, it happens a lot or all the time. The television at home is in constant use. Crack. A crack is a narrow space between the parts of something broken. The old window was covered with cracks. Device. A device is an object or a machine. A thermometer is a device that tells temperature. Enclose. To enclose something is to contain it. The cows in the field were enclosed by a fence. Grip. To grip something is to hold it very tightly. I was scared, so I gripped my older sister's hand. Halt. To halt is to stop moving. The criminal halted when he saw the police coming. Impending. If something is impending, it is going to happen soon. The student was nervous about his impending test. Influence. To influence someone or something is to have an effect over them. My friend influenced my decision to attend Terence University. Law. A law is a rule made by the legislative body. The students learned about different laws during social studies class. Mode. A mode is a setting or condition on a machine. Mother turned the TV to quiet mode while she talked on the phone. Perspire. 
To perspire means to sweat. I usually perspire a lot when I'm at practice. Replace. To replace something is to put it in the place of something else. I replaced the tire on my car because it was flat. Snap. To snap something means to break it suddenly, which causes a loud noise. I took the stick and snapped it with my hands. Sly. If a person or animal is sly, they are sneaky or good at tricking people. The sly fox stole the eggs from the nest. Tend. To tend to do something is to be likely to do it or to do it often. My mom tends to buy me the perfect gift each Christmas. Valid. When something is valid, it is correct or based on good reasoning. The expert's opinion on the subject was more valid than others. Version. A version is an account of something that differs slightly from the original. She read the student's British version of the Chinese fairy tale. Whatsoever. You use whatsoever after a noun to emphasize that there is nothing of that thing. The boy had no idea whatsoever how to solve the story problem. Janie and the music player. Janie had constant thoughts about getting a music player. One day, she was late to class. She hurried down the hall, but halted when she saw a backpack on the floor. She looked inside and found nothing but some books. She reached inside the bag and felt a small object at the bottom. It was a music player enclosed in a black case. Janie tended to be honest, and she had no valid reason to take the device. However, her desire for the player influenced her decision. Janie was being sly. She put the device into her own backpack. When she arrived at class, she gave her teacher the bag. I found this," she said. Miss Johnson asked, "Does this backpack belong to anyone?" A girl named Linda claimed the bag. Linda looked inside and yelled, "My music player is missing. Janie took it." Janie answered. I did not," Linda responded. "You were the only one that had access to it. If your version of the story is true, you let Miss Johnson check your bag." Janie started to perspire as she realized the impending trouble she was in. She gripped her bag tightly. Miss Johnson took the bag from Janie. Inside, she found the player. Janie, I never expected this kind of conduct from you," she said. You've always been such a good student. Miss Johnson gave Linda the player. Linda said, "Miss Johnson, look!" There was a crack along one side. She turned it to the on mode, but it wouldn't work. It must have snapped while Janie was holding on to the bag so tightly. Miss Johnson called Janie's parents. They were very upset. Stealing is illegal. You have no respect for the law whatsoever, they said. We bought you a music player, but we're giving it to Linda. It will replace the one you broke. In the end, Janie's bad behavior left her with nothing at all. Alongside. If something is alongside another thing, then it is next to it. We work alongside each other in the office. Appetite. Your appetite is your hunger for food. Tom has a big appetite. He eats all the time. Assist. To assist someone is to help them. Andrew assisted me with my homework. Breeze. A breeze is a soft wind. The breeze caused the leaves to fall off the tree. 
Defy. To defy someone is to work against them or refuse to do what they say. The students got into trouble for defying their teacher's rules. Display. To display something is to show it, especially by putting it in a certain place. The museum displayed many wonderful paintings. Efficient. If something or someone is efficient, they do not waste energy. My car is very efficient. I rarely have to buy gas. Feeble. If someone is feeble, they are small or weak. The boy was too feeble to carry the object very far. Forgive. To forgive someone is to stop being angry with them. Sandra forgave Peter after he said he was sorry. Lively. If someone is lively, they have a lot of energy. Jennifer is very lively. She's always running and playing. Majestic. If something is majestic, it is large and beautiful. The rich people lived in a big majestic house. Nor. You use nor to connect two negative ideas. I eat neither apples nor oranges. I don't like either one. Outraged. If someone is outraged, they are very angry. My father was outraged when he saw that I'd crashed his car. Pessimistic. If someone is pessimistic, they believe that the worst will happen. John is pessimistic. He always thinks something bad will happen. Rumor. A rumor is something people talk about, even though it may not be true. Kevin was spreading rumors about Marcia to everyone. Slap. To slap someone means to hit them with the palm of the hand. Out of anger, Helen slapped Eunice on the face. Smash. To smash something is to break it into many small pieces. Jacob smashed the window with a rock. Subject. A subject is the topic that is being discussed or taught. The subject of Marco's speech was the economy. Wage. A wage is the money that a person gets for doing a job. The wages I receive from my job are really great. Whereas. You use whereas to show how two things are different. My sister loves horror movies, whereas I prefer comedies. Growing to be great. When George was just a boy, he didn't have any parents. The rumor was that they died in a car accident. Many bad things could have happened to George, but he was lucky. He was sent to live alongside other children without parents. There were kind people to assist George and help him go forward with his life. However, he was a pessimistic and mean little boy. George was often outraged. He told mean rumors about the other kids. He smashed furniture and even slapped other boys. He defied anyone who tried to help him, and soon it was difficult for them to forgive him. But George did display a love for one thing. He loved to play baseball. Whereas he was lazy in school and liked neither the subjects nor the teachers, he was lively and happy when he played baseball. One of George's teachers noticed his talent. He began to work with the boy. At first, they only talked about baseball. The teacher watched George play. He was a very efficient hitter. He almost never missed the ball. The teacher thought that George looked majestic when he played.
When George hit the ball, it flew through the breeze as if it would never come down. In time, they began to talk about other things. They talked about George's family and his dreams for the future. They developed a very good relationship. As George got older, he began to grow. His appetite was huge. He ate and ate. He got stronger. Soon the other boys and even the teachers looked small and feeble next to him. Everyone thought that this heralded the start of a great baseball career. When George got his first job as a baseball player, he gave most of his wages to the people who had helped him as a boy. He hoped that other children would also find a way to live happy, successful lives. Animate. When something is animate, it has life. Rocks and machines are not animate things. Classify. To classify things is to put them into groups based on their type. The biologist classified the plant as a completely new species. Concede. To concede is to admit that something is true against your wish. The student conceded that he had cheated on the test. Concept. A concept is an idea about something. I learned some concepts of molecules before working in the science lab. Construct. To construct something means to make or build it. The men used wood and metal to construct a house. Decade. A decade is a period of ten years. She celebrated her three decades of work with the company. Diagram. A diagram is a simple drawing that explains what something is or how it works. By following the diagram, I was able to put the desk together. Ferry. A ferry is a boat that carries passengers over short distances. The ferry took the people across the lake. Handy. If something is handy, it is useful. An eraser is handy if you make a lot of mistakes. Isolate. To isolate is to separate one person or thing from a group. The teacher isolated the bad child from the class before talking with her. Longing. A longing is a strong feeling of wanting. Since he skipped breakfast, he had a longing for food all morning. Numerous. If something is numerous, there are many of those things. It was hard to drive fast since there were numerous holes in the road. Particle. A particle is a very small piece of something. The bottles of wine were covered in a layer of dust particles. Plea. A plea is a request that is urgent or emotional. The poor, hungry man made a plea for food. Refrain. To refrain from something is to avoid doing it. The doctor asked Mary to refrain from eating fast food as part of her diet. Review. A review of something is a formal inspection of it by people in authority. The government ordered a careful review of the economic situation. Sophisticated. If someone is sophisticated, they know many things about the world. Jake is one of the most sophisticated persons I've ever met. Surrender. To surrender something is to give it up. The thief surrendered the money to the police when he was caught. Upright. 
If something is upright, it is standing up straight. Meerkats can't walk like humans, but they can stand upright. Worthwhile. If something is worthwhile, it is important or useful. On his visit to Canada, he realized studying English was worthwhile. Anton's Great Discovery Anton van Leeuwenhoek was a Dutch cloth merchant. His life began to change after he got his first microscope in 1653. It was a very simple microscope. It had a lens and an upright stand. It could make small things look large. It was handy for looking closely at cloth. Soon, Anton felt a longing to build a more powerful microscope. He dreamed of using it to make an important scientific discovery. He wanted to become famous. Three decades later, he did. For many years, Anton experimented with microscopes and lenses. Eventually, he constructed a very powerful microscope. If he had sold the concept to others, it would have made him very rich. However, Anton refrained from surrendering his secret to anyone. Instead, he wanted to use it to become famous. So he used his secret microscope to study the natural world. One day he was looking at saliva from his mouth with the microscope. In the saliva, he saw numerous tiny particles. Some of them were moving. He thought that the particles were tiny organisms. So he isolated them from each other and studied each one carefully. Then he classified them into different categories. Some were round, others were long and had tails. All were alive. Anton was so excited. He knew he could become famous now. He was the first person to see these tiny organisms. So he drew diagrams of the organisms and sent them to a group of scientists in London. The scientists were sophisticated men who did not believe tiny animate organisms could live in our mouths. Anton made a plea for them to come to Holland to see the organisms with their own eyes. The men took a ferry to Holland and met Anton. They performed a careful review of his work and they conceded that he had made a worthwhile discovery. Anton van Leeuwenhoek had discovered bacteria. After decades of hard work, he had become famous. Alliance An alliance is a group of people who work together. The junior executives formed an alliance with each other. Applause Applause is the noise made when people clap hands to show approval. At the end of his speech, everyone gave applause. Armed If you are armed, you are carrying a weapon. The robber was armed with a gun. Authoritative If something is authoritative, it uses the best information available. This book is an authoritative source on ancient Egypt's Queen Nefertiti. Ceremony A ceremony is an event that happens on special occasions. Tom and Amy's marriage ceremony is in June. Culture Culture is the music, art, and writings of a certain place or group of people. Ancient Mexican culture is renowned for its architecture. Defense A defense is something that is done to protect another thing. The Air Force works in defense of its country. Detail a detail is a small piece of information. Jane told Ben all the details of her trip to China. Diverse When a group of things is diverse, it is made up of a wide variety of things. Big cities have diverse populations with people of different races and ages. Enchant to enchant someone is to make them feel very interested or happy. The beautiful woman enchanted everybody in the room. 
equip. To equip someone is to give them the things needed to do something. Steve was equipped with the tools needed to do the job. Exception. An exception is someone or something not conforming to a rule. Most students thought the test was hard, but Tim was the exception. Genre. A genre is a type of literature, art, or music characterized by its style. She is considered a master in the comedy genre. Impact. An impact is the effect someone or something has on another. My grandmother had a great impact on my life. Lure. To lure someone is to convince them to do something by using a trick. The store lures people in with big signs that say "sale." Obstacle. An obstacle is an object or a problem that stops you from doing something. Climbing over the giant rock was the biggest obstacle for the hikers. Shelter. A shelter is a place to go that is safe from danger or bad weather. The frog took shelter from the storm in a nearby cave. Sort. To sort means to separate things into different groups or classes. He sorted his clothes by colors and sizes. Supply. To supply something means to give people what they need or want. The water heater supplied the house with warm water. Vain. If people are vain, they are only concerned with how they look. Rebecca is so vain that she looks at herself in every mirror. How a singer helped win the war. Sometimes famous people are vain; they only care about themselves. But Josephine Baker was an exception. In the 1930s and 1940s, Baker was one of the most famous women in France. She was a big part of the new jazz genre and culture. And had a diverse group of fans. The French people especially loved her, and she loved France. So when World War II started, she wanted to help the nation that had given her so much. In 1940, armed German troops entered Paris. When this happened, some French people formed a secret alliance. It was called the French Resistance. The group worked for the defense of France. It helped the European and American armies fight the Germans. Baker was an important member of the resistance. She had three jobs. The first was to carry messages to and from other members. The messages were written in code on her sheets of music. The second was to provide shelter and supply goods to resistance members. It would have been dangerous if the Germans found them. Baker's third job was the most important. Baker held concerts for European politicians and army members. She lured them in, promising an entertaining show. She enchanted them with her singing and dancing, and got lots of applause. But Baker was always equipped with a small notebook at these concerts. She listened for details about the war and wrote them down. Baker sorted the details and gave authoritative reports to the resistance. Some thought Baker's fame would be an obstacle. The Germans knew who she was, but they didn't think she was smart enough to work for the resistance, so she could get information from the Germans easily. This helped the resistance and the French army save lives and win the war. Baker had a big impact on the resistance's work. She got many awards for her help. When she died, the army had a special ceremony to thank her again for her bravery. Alternative. An alternative is something that you can choose instead of your first choice. Her first plan to make extra money seemed weak. So she chose an alternative. Avenue. An avenue is a road, often a large one with buildings on each side. Drive down this avenue and then turn left to go to the park.
Belly. The belly is the stomach of a person or animal. His belly was full because he ate a lot of food. Bid. A bid to do something is an attempt to do it. He made a bid to become the university's next president. Blow. To blow means to move air or move something through the air, as in the wind. The wind is blowing very hard today. We should stay inside. Conflict. A conflict is a fight between different people or groups. The two nations had a conflict over which one could use the water in the river. Continent. A continent is one of the seven large areas of land on the Earth. Asia is the largest continent. Current. A current is a steady and constant flow of air or water in a river or ocean. The ocean currents took the ship far off into the sea. Disrespect. Disrespect is rudeness or a behavior that shows a lack of respect. He showed disrespect by arguing with his boss during a meeting. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is a very strong, good feeling about something. The crowd showed their enthusiasm for the soccer team by cheering loudly. Harsh. When something is harsh, it is very unpleasant. The desert can be a very harsh environment. Lean. To lean is to bend the body in a particular direction. The woman leaned against the counter because she was tired. Meantime. The meantime is the time between two events. Ted began setting the table. In the meantime, I began preparing the food. Mischief. Mischief is behavior that is meant to trick or cause trouble for people. Ben was up to mischief when he persuaded Ken to paint his face. Muscle. Muscle is a mass of tissue attached to bone that helps you move. She went to the gym in order to make her muscles stronger. Rescue. To rescue someone means to remove them from danger. The firefighter rescued the man from the burning building. Succession. A succession is a number of things that follow one after the other. The student said the letters of the alphabet in succession. Terrain. The terrain is the land and all of its physical features or parts. The terrain below was rocky and full of hills. Timid. If someone is timid, they are afraid, shy, or nervous. The timid child hides behind her mother whenever she sees a stranger. Violence. Violence is forceful action that is meant to injure or kill people. The boy hit his brother in an act of violence. The sun and the north wind. The sun and the north wind were talking to each other in the sky. The north wind was saying that he was better than everyone else. The sun listened as the north wind talked with enthusiasm about how powerful he was and how he could push something from one continent to another with one breath. He said, "I am the strongest thing in the sky." Really? Asked the sun. How do you know that you are more powerful than the stars or the rain or even me? The north wind laughed with disrespect. He yelled, "You! That's a joke!" This hurt the sun. 
He was usually timid and did not want to cause conflict. Today, he decided that he should teach the North Wind a lesson. In the meantime, a man began walking along the avenue down on Earth. When the sun looked down on the terrain below, he saw the man. He pointed down to the Earth and said, "Do you see that man walking below? I bet I can get his jacket off of him. Can you?" Of course. The North Wind replied as he took a deep breath and filled his lungs with air. He used all of his muscles in his face and belly to blow winds at his target in succession. The harsh air currents made the man cold. The man pulled his jacket more tightly around him. It did not come off. The sun decided to rescue the man from the mischief of the North Wind. He said, "May I try?" Then he sent down sunlight that made the man warm. The man leaned against a tree. He took off his jacket and enjoyed the nice weather. You are very powerful, the sun said to the north wind. But you use violence in your bid to appear strong. You should think of an alternative. The strongest people don't use force to get what they want. Effect. To affect someone or something is to have an influence over them. The student's poor attitude affected the other students in the class. Autograph. An autograph is the written name of a famous person. Everybody wanted the movie star's autograph. Bead. A bead is a drop of liquid. Beads of water collected outside the glass. Brew. To brew coffee or tea means to pour hot water over it. Please brew a fresh pot of coffee. Charm. To charm someone is to please them with your personality. Gail charmed everyone with her humorous stories. Destiny. A destiny is all the things that happen or will happen to a person in their life. It was his destiny to become a great singer. Horn. A horn is a device that makes a loud noise. The boy honked his horn while he rode his bicycle past the house. Irritable. When someone is irritable, they become annoyed or angry very easily. She is irritable when she doesn't get enough sleep. Lag. To lag behind is to move slowly behind other moving objects. The girl on rollerblades lagged behind the little girl on the bicycle. Maximize. To maximize something means to make it biggest in size or amount. Businesses try to maximize their profits. Nightmare. A nightmare is a bad or scary dream. The girl was scared to go back to sleep because she had a nightmare. Nutritious. When something is nutritious, it helps the body stay healthy. Mangoes are one of the most nutritious fruits in the world. Protein. Protein is a substance that is necessary for the body to grow and be strong. Fish and beef are good sources of protein. Signature. A signature is your name that you have written in your own way. I put my signature at the end of the letter. Stuff. Stuff is a word used to refer to things without mentioning the things by name. We gave a lot of stuff to the charity. Subconscious. When something is subconscious, it is done without thinking about it. Breathing is one of the subconscious things that the body does. 
Van. A van is a vehicle that is used for carrying things but is smaller than a truck. The delivery company uses large vans to deliver packages. Warn. To warn someone is to make them know of possible danger in the future. The lifeguard warned people to stay away from the rough ocean. Workout. A workout is an exercise routine that helps improve health. She doesn't do her workout on the weekends. Zoom. To zoom is to move quickly. The cars zoomed along the road. The Big Race. Alex woke up scared because of a nightmare. In it, he was running a race. Just before he reached the finish line, he fell. Alex thought that it was a subconscious way that his brain was trying to warn him about something. He was going to run in a race that day. Did the dream mean he was going to lose? He became irritable. Good morning, said Alex's mother. I brewed some coffee and made you a special breakfast. Alex didn't want it. It had too much sugar. He needed something nutritious. So he prepared a meal that contained a lot of protein to maximize his energy for the race. Then his father asked, "Do you want help packing your stuff?" "No," replied Alex. He wanted to make sure that he had all of his equipment for the race. Alex's family got in their van and drove to the track. When they arrived, a boy ran toward Alex. "Can I have your autograph?" asked the boy. Alex had many fans. He usually charmed everybody he spoke to. However, Today, Alex refused to give the boy his signature. He needed to think about his race. He took his jump rope from his bag and started his usual workout. Maybe exercising would help him forget about the nightmare. The race is about to start," said the coach. Beads of sweat formed out of Alex's sweat glands. All he could think about was his terrible dream. He thought it might be his destiny to become a loser. While he was thinking, he didn't hear the horn that meant the race had started. The runners zoomed toward the finish line. By the time Alex started, he lagged far behind everyone. He couldn't run fast enough to catch up to the others. He had lost the race. He shouldn't have let the nightmare affect him. He should have stayed focused on the race. Brick. A brick is a block of hard clay that is used for building things such as walls. There were several bricks scattered on the ground. Crumble. To crumble means to break or fall apart into small pieces. The old house's walls crumbled into a pile of rock and wood. Dough. Dough is a mixture of flour and water that becomes bread when baked. I made heart-shaped cookies from the dough. Express. To express a feeling or idea means to show others how one thinks or feels. The nurse expressed her sympathy for the sick patient. Fist. A fist is a hand with fingers bent in toward the palm. The bully made a fist and threatened to hit the small boy. Flexible. If something is flexible, then it can bend easily without breaking. The tree branch was so flexible it could be bent into a circle and not break. Flush. To flush means the face becomes red due to heat, illness, or emotion. After the long race, the runner's face was flushed. Injure. To injure someone means to damage a part of their body. The car crash injured two people. Lump. A lump is a small piece of something that is solid. The artist took a lump of clay and turned it into a beautiful pot. Mixture. 
A mixture is something that is made by mixing other things together. The walls were built using a mixture of water, rock, and dirt. Reconcile. To reconcile means to return to a friendly relationship. After arguing, the two friends were reconciled with each other. Ruin. To ruin something means to harm or damage it greatly. Our walk in the park was ruined by the sudden rain. Shatter. To shatter something means to break it suddenly into many tiny pieces. When the ball hit the window, the glass shattered. Shutter. Shutters are wooden or metal covers in front of a window. Mr. Smith closed the shutters every night to make his bedroom dark. Sift. To sift something means to remove all the large pieces. The baker sifted the flour into a large bowl. Slight. If something is slight, then it is small or minor. There was only a slight change in the little boy's height. Sparkle. To sparkle means to shine brightly with quick flashes of light. The stars sparkled in the winter night sky. Sprinkle. To sprinkle means to scatter something all over something else. He sprinkled the pasta with salt and black pepper. Stale. If food is stale, then it is not fresh, but dry, hard, and not good to eat. The cookies sat on the table so long that they became stale. Utter. To utter a word or a sound means to say it. The lost boy was so scared that he could barely utter a single word. The brothers and the bread. Two brothers wanted to go outside and play. However, because the only bread in the house was stale, their mother told them they needed to bake fresh bread. I have to have the car repaired, she said. When I return, if the bread is ready, you can play. The brothers hurried to prepare the bread, but not carefully. They didn't sift the flour. They were careless and sprinkled too much salt into the mixture. The dough needed to be soft and flexible, but the salt made it into a lump that was as hard as a brick. The younger brother uttered a sigh. Oh, "Now we have to start again," he said. "No, we don't," the older brother replied. "I'll fix it. I just need to make the dough flat again and add water to it." He decided to hit the ball of dough with his fist to make it flat, but. He hit it so hard that it flew right off of the table and knocked over a glass, which shattered. The dough then crashed into the kitchen window shutters and crumbled. Luckily, the brothers were not injured, but they did make a huge mess. A slight mistake now became a major problem. The brothers had ruined the kitchen. Just then, their mother returned. She saw the mess and became flushed with anger. Now you can't play. She said, "Instead, you have to clean the kitchen. I want this kitchen to be so clean that it may sparkle." The brothers cleaned the floor and expressed their sorrow to their mother. Soon they were reconciled, but there was no bread, and it was too late to play. They realized that trying to do something quickly often makes more work. Although. You use although to say that one thing is contrasted by another. Although she was late, her friends gave her a warm welcome. Apply. To apply something means to put it on. She always applies makeup to her face before going outside. Await. To await something means to wait for it. The players awaited the judge's decision.
Beloved. When something is beloved, it is very special and you like it very much. The boy took a nap next to his beloved cat. Bury. To bury someone or something means to put them in the ground. They buried their grandfather under his favorite tree after he died. Climate. A climate is the usual weather in a place. The climate in the desert is very hot. Complain. When you complain, you say that you are unhappy about something. The workers complained that they were being treated unfairly. Confuse. To confuse someone means to make them feel like they are unsure. The sign confused the traveler because it pointed in two directions. Due. When something is due, it is expected to happen or be done at that time. The papers were due on the 19th. Entire. When you talk about an entire thing, you are talking about the whole thing. He was so hungry that he ate the entire pizza by himself. Establish. To establish something means to create it. He wanted to establish a club for people to help the earth. Furnace. A furnace is a place where heat is made. Mr. Jones came to fix the furnace. Leash. A leash is a rope or chain that is used to lead an animal. A lot of dogs must wear a leash to keep them from running away. Mature. To mature means to grow up to become an adult. When they matured, they became as tall as their parents. Measure. To measure something means to find out the quality, value, or effect of it. The scientists carefully measured the amount of chemicals in the tubes. Midst. The midst of something is the middle of it. She was in the midst of cleaning when the telephone rang. Misery. Misery is extreme suffering. There was a lot of misery after Sam lost his dog. Prior. When something happened prior to something else, it happened earlier. Ron had to wait since he arrived prior to the scheduled meeting time. Research. Research is close and careful study to discover new things. Scientists did a lot of research on the subject of blood type. Variety. A variety of something is a group of many different kinds of it. There are a variety of flowers at the shop. Laika, the space dog. One of the world's most beloved space travelers was also the furriest. Laika was a little dog living on the streets of Moscow, Russia. She matured on the streets because no one would give her a home. She had to learn how to live without eating much. She found ways to keep warm in a very cold climate. Scientists thought a tough dog like Laika would do well in a project they were putting together. In a prior launch, Russia had put the first man-made object into space. Now, scientists wanted to see if a living thing could go to space. Although many facts about space had been learned, they weren't enough to help send humans to space safely. Laika and two other dogs were chosen to help scientists with their research. The animals were used in a variety of tests. In the end, though, only Laika would go to space. On November 3, 1957, the Sputnik 2 spaceship was due to leave Earth. Scientists carefully applied wires to Laika's skin to measure her body's reactions once she got into space. 
Laika also wore a special leash. Without it, she would float around in the spaceship. Soon after, Laika left the planet. Scientists on Earth awaited information from the ship. But in the midst of so much excitement, something very sad happened. Scientists were able to tell that Laika was under a lot of stress. The trip confused and scared her. Laika's entire ship had become as hot as a furnace. Scientists were powerless to help the dog in her misery. After about five hours, Laika died. Some have complained that the little dog should never have been used in the mission. Scientists knew that she would not survive the trip. Laika was never buried, but a memorial has been established in Moscow. There are many songs and books about her too. It seems that Laika became a hero to many people. Altogether, if something happens altogether, it happens completely. The company stopped using sugar altogether in its food. Bind. To bind is to bring people together. The victims of the flood were bound by their need to help each other. Bruise. A bruise is a dark mark caused by being hit by something. She got a bruise on her knee from falling down. Custom. A custom is a way of doing things that has been the same for a long time. It is a custom that the bride and groom have the first dance. Disobedient. When someone is disobedient, they do not follow the rules or instructions. The disobedient children didn't listen to their mother and had an accident. Foresee. To foresee something is to know about it before it happens. The teacher didn't foresee any problems with her large class. Glimpse. To glimpse something is to see it for a short time. She glimpsed outside the window as the plane was about to land. Hoop. A hoop is a ring that is made of plastic, metal, or wood. The boy tried to toss the ball through the basketball hoop. Misfortune. Misfortune is bad luck or an unlucky event. His family helped him when he encountered misfortune. Negative. When something is negative, it is unpleasant or sad. She doesn't like to say negative things about her friends. Per. Per is used to mean each when giving a price, size, or amount. It costs eight dollars per person to watch the baseball game. Plead. To plead is to ask for something you want very badly. He pleaded for his parents to let him go to the soccer game. Rip. To rip something means to pull it apart. She ripped the paper in half by accident. Sake. The sake of something is the reason for doing it. The parents worked hard for their children's sake. Scrape. To scrape something is to rub it very hard with something sharp. I accidentally scraped the paint off the side of the car. Source. A source of something is the place that it comes from. The river was the source of drinking water for the village. Stern. When somebody is stern, they are very serious. The stern teacher didn't allow the students to speak during class. Stitch. To stitch is to use a needle and thread to join pieces of cloth together. 
The grandmother stitched the pieces together to make a big blanket. Thump. A thump is the sound of a heavy object falling. They heard the thump when the bowling ball hit the floor. Vehement. When somebody is vehement, they are angry and emotional. Gina was vehement when she found out that Liz was bad in school. Gwen's new friends. Gwen walked into the gym for her next class. Coach Peeve said, "Today we're playing basketball. The custom is to let you choose your own teams. However, we're going to do things differently." The coach assigned each girl to a team. There were six girls per team. Gwen glimpsed at her teammates. She didn't know any of them. All of her friends were on the other teams. She couldn't believe her misfortune. I feel sick. May I go to the nurse? Asked Gwen. The coach could foresee Gwen's excuses. It wasn't the first time Gwen tried to leave class. With a stern voice, the coach said no. Gwen was vehement. I don't know any of these girls. Let me play on another team, please. She pleaded. Gwen, don't be disobedient. I don't want to hear any more negative comments from you. Gwen had no choice. Then a girl smiled at her. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I was in your English class last year. She said. Gwen remembered her. For the sake of the team, please try your best. I know you're a good player," said Stephanie. When the game started, Gwen played as best as she could. She took a long shot. The ball sailed through the air and went right through the hoop. That was awesome," said one of her teammates. Later, Gwen fell with a loud thump. "Are you okay?" asked her teammates. They were worried. She had ripped her jeans. She had scraped her knee and had a small bruise. Gwen told her teammates, "My knee is fine, and I can stitch my pants later. Let's keep playing." By the end of the game, Gwen forgot altogether that she hadn't wanted to play, and her team won. The victory bound Gwen's team together. She had made a lot of new friends, and they were a source of happiness for her for many years. Civilization. A civilization is an organized group of humans that have culture and government. Most early civilizations in Central America didn't use metal weapons. Convenient. When something is convenient, it is easy to do and does not take a lot of work. The bus is a convenient way to get to school. Den. A den is a living space for some types of animals, such as lions. The mother lion left her babies in the den. Dew. Dew is the drops of water that form on the ground outside during the night. When we woke up, we saw that the grass was covered in dew. Drastic. When something is drastic, it is extreme or major. She made a drastic decision to get her long hair cut short. Exit. To exit means to leave. The students exited through the front door. Flock. A flock is a group of animals such as birds, sheep, or goats. There was one black sheep in the entire flock. Fold. To fold is to bend something like paper or cloth so that it takes up less space. I folded the paper and put it in my pocket. Lid. A lid is a top for a box or container that can be removed. He lifted the lid of the box and revealed her present. Loom. 
To loom is to seem very large and often scary. The ominous clouds loomed over the school. Mighty. When something is mighty, it is strong and large. The mighty wrestler scared all who faced him. Mushroom. A mushroom is a fungus with a round top. Some are used as food. The soup had fresh mushrooms in it. Native. When something is native, it is originating in a certain place or area. Avocados are native fruits of Mexico. Poison. Poison is a dangerous substance that causes illness or death. They used poison to get rid of the rats in their home. Reed. Reeds are tall and skinny plants that grow in groups near water. The sun set behind the reeds of the lake shore. Shield. To shield something is to protect it. She shielded her eyes from the sun with sunglasses. Stormy. Stormy describes something affected or characterized by storms. The golfers decided to go home because of the stormy weather. Sway. To sway is to move slowly from side to side. She swayed while she listened to the music. Urban. When something is urban, it is related to the city. Subways are an important form of urban transportation. Wade. To wade is to walk in or pass through water. The child waded in the water at the beach. Kara goes camping. Kara, would you like to go camping with my family? Asked Tracy. Kara had never been camping before, but she decided to go anyway. That weekend, they drove to Estes Park. When they arrived, Kara looked around. She felt so far from civilization. After they set up the camp, they went for a walk. Tracy's father, Mr. Greaves, showed them the native plants and animals. Look, he said, that's a fox's den. Do you see that bunch of mushrooms next to it? Don't touch them. They contain poison. Kara was bored. She didn't care about nature. As the day went on, mighty clouds soon loomed in the distance. It looks like stormy weather, said Tracy. We should go back. It suddenly began to rain. They used an umbrella to shield them from the rain. Back at the camp, they ate cold sandwiches for dinner and went to sleep. By morning, the rain had stopped. It was a drastic change from the previous day's weather. They folded their sleeping bags and put them in a box. Tracy closed the lid and told Kara, Today will be fun, I promise. Kara didn't believe her. She missed her convenient life in the city. She was used to an urban lifestyle. After breakfast, they went for a walk. The grass was covered with dew and it gleamed in the sunlight. Finally, they reached a lake. Kara and Tracy waded into the water. The reeds swayed in the wind and a flock of birds flew above. Kara felt very peaceful. That night they made a fire. They sat around it while Mr. Greaves told scary stories. Kara had a lot of fun. Camping was a good way for friends to spend time together, she realized. The next day it was time for them to leave. She felt sad while they exited the park. She didn't like camping at first, but she learned how fun it could be over the weekend. Accent An accent is a certain way of speaking that shows where a person is from. The new teacher's accent was clearly a German one. Barber A barber is a person whose job is to cut hair. My hair is getting much too long. I'd better go to the barber shop. Basement 
A basement of a house or building is a room that is built underground. They turn their basement into a game room. Blank. When something is blank, it does not have anything on it. She got a blank paper to draw on. Blink. To blink means to shut the eyes and quickly open them again. I blinked many times so that my eyes could adjust to the bright light. Choir. A choir is a group of people who sing together. He had choir practice every day after school. Comic. When something is comic, it is funny. The comic actor was famous for his jokes. Complicate. To complicate something means to make it harder than necessary. The bad weather complicated finishing the job quickly. Decline. To decline an offer or invitation means to say no to it. She declined his offer to pay for her dinner. Errand. An errand is a trip taken to do a specific activity. He couldn't go to practice because he had several errands to do. Glove. A glove is a piece of clothing that covers your fingers and hand. When it gets cold, I always put on a pair of gloves. Hermit. A hermit is one who lives alone and does not spend time with others. The hermit lived a simple life in a small cave in the forest. Justly. If something is done justly, then it is fair. We justly decided to give the prize to him. Leather. Leather is a material made from animal skin that is used to make clothing. He got a new leather jacket for his birthday. Ponder. To ponder something is to think about it carefully. She sat in the park and pondered her problem. Reserve. To reserve something means to keep it for a certain person or time. He reserved a table at the busy restaurant. Script. A script is the words of a film or play. He read the script of the play three times. Search. To search for something or someone means to look for them carefully. I searched the newspaper for a new job. Slam. To slam is to close something hard. She slammed the book shut after she finished reading it. Staircase. A staircase is a set of stairs found inside a building. The staircase leads directly into the kitchen. The school play. Peter was excited. Next week he was going to audition for the school play. Everybody knew he was a great actor. He was sure he would get the lead role. Later his friend Robbie asked him, "Have you seen the script for the play?" "Yes." The title is The Lost Glove. It's a comic play, replied Peter. Robbie said, "I want to play the part of the hermit because the hermit gets to talk with an accent. I want the lead role of the barber. I didn't know you liked acting. I thought you liked choir better," said Peter. "Acting is also a hobby of mine. Do you want to practice with me? The basement at my house is quiet. It's perfect," Robbie replied. "I don't like practicing with others." It complicates the process for me," said Peter. Actually, Peter didn't want to practice at all. The teacher would surely reserve the lead part for him. A few days later, Robbie came to his house. Robbie said, 
Do you want to practice the scene on the staircase? It's the part where the migrant searches for a new job. Peter declined the invitation. I can't today. I need to do some errands. Then he slammed the door. It was just an excuse. Peter didn't want to help Robbie. On the day of auditions, Peter wore his lucky leather jacket. He always got the best part when he wore it. The teacher told him to begin, but his mind was blank. He couldn't remember the lines. A week later, the teacher put a list of the parts on the wall. Peter read the list, looking for his name. He was shocked by what he saw. He blinked his eyes and looked again. He didn't get the lead part. Robbie did. Peter pondered the situation and came to the idea that Robbie justly received the part. He earned it by practicing. Next time, Peter would practice too. Afflicted. Afflicted means to suffer physically or mentally. He was afflicted by pain in his right arm. Aisle. An aisle is a space between two things that people use to walk. They were told to clear the aisle because the plane was about to land. Atmosphere. The atmosphere is the air around the Earth where weather conditions form. Scientists worry that harmful substances are hurting the atmosphere. Author. An author is a person who wrote a certain piece of writing. The author was hard at work on his next novel. Breakdown. A breakdown is a failure to work correctly. Her car had a breakdown, and she wasn't sure how to fix it. Cargo. Cargo is the items carried by a ship or plane. The cargo of the ship got wet when it started raining. Chapter. A chapter is a part of a book that usually has a number or a title. The first chapter of a book usually introduces the main character of a story. Connect. To connect two things means to join them together. I connected the mouse to my laptop computer. Etc. Etc. is short for etc. It is used to refer to other unspecified objects. She was going to bring treats to the party: cookies, muffins, cake, etc. Flip. To flip means to press a switch quickly to turn it on or off. To turn on the lights, just flip the switch. Idle. If you are idle, you are not doing anything. She read a book to keep from being idle. Notify. To notify someone of something is to tell them about it. The teacher notified us about a change to our assignment. Pea. Peas are a vegetable that is small, round, and green. His favorite food was peas. Raisin. A raisin is a dried grape. Raisins are one of my favorite snacks. Retain. To retain something is to keep it. Even by the afternoon, the day had retained the morning's freshness. State. To state something means to say it in a definite way. The president stated his opinion about the world's health concerns. Tray. A tray is a flat plate used to hold food. The waiter brought our food on a tray. Unfortunate. If something is unfortunate, it is bad or unlucky. 
It was unfortunate that Dave's team lost, but he still had fun. Vivid. When something is vivid, it is bright and colorful. The figures in the painting were vivid. Vomit. To vomit means to have food come up from one's stomach. It is common for women to vomit when they are pregnant. Isaac's first plane trip. Isaac's family was going on vacation. He was excited about the trip, except for one thing. He had never been on a plane before. He was scared that his plane would have a breakdown. Isaac got onto the plane. He walked down the aisle until he found his seat. He sat down and connected the ends of his seatbelt. After being idle for a few minutes, the pilot announced that they were ready to leave. He looked out the window at the vivid colors of the sky. He began to feel scared. The girl sitting next to him said, Hi, I'm Rachel. You look nervous, but you don't need to be. Flying is fun. I'm still a bit nervous, Isaac said, and I'm getting hungry. The food service will begin soon. Just lower the tray on the seat in front of you and flip the switch. Then they'll bring your dinner. Last time, they served chicken, peas, and a box of raisins, Rachel explained. Then the pilot notified the passengers of bad conditions in the atmosphere. We're tracking the weather. Lightning, clouds, etc. The ride might get a bit rough, he stated. Suddenly, the plane started to shake. Isaac was badly afflicted by his fear. His stomach hurt and he thought he might vomit. He couldn't believe that he was in such an unfortunate place. Finally, the shaking stopped. Isaac was still scared, but he tried to retain a good attitude. The first time I flew, the plane shook so bad that cargo started falling. My parents told me to listen to music and read a chapter in my book. It calmed me, Rachel said. Suddenly, the plane shook again. This time, Isaac followed Rachel's advice. He put on headphones and took out a book by his favorite author. The book and the music helped Isaac feel better. After a while, he didn't even notice the bad weather. The bad situation didn't feel so bad after someone helped him. Betray To betray someone means to treat them in a dishonest way. The man betrayed his country when he gave away national secrets. Blast A blast is a loud noise made by something that explodes. There was a loud blast when the police officer fired the gun. Bracelet A bracelet is a piece of jewelry that you wear around your wrist. My father gave me a pretty gold bracelet for my birthday. Cease To cease means to stop. After about an hour, the rain ceased and a rainbow appeared. Choke To choke means to cough because you have difficulty breathing. There was a lot of smoke in the air and it made me choke. Civil When an event is civil, it happens inside a country. The country was torn apart by a terrible civil war. Comment To comment means to say something that shows your personal opinion. Tom commented on the poor quality of the food. Cross To cross means to go from one side to the other side. We used his boat to cross to the other side of the lake. Dent A dent is damage caused by something heavy hitting something else. That blue car hit my car, and now there is a small dent in my car door. Distrust To distrust someone means to believe that they are not honest. Don't lend money to someone if you distrust them. Fort A fort is a small building that is specially built to defend an area from attack. 
When the army arrived, they built a big fort on the top of the hill. Found. To found means to bring something into existence. The pastor founded his church in the countryside. Lining. Lining is a piece of cloth that covers the inside of clothes. This jacket is very warm because it has a thick lining. Mass. A mass is a large number of things of one type. We received a mass of letters this morning. Pray. To pray means to talk to God. When people go to church, they pray for their families and friends. Rife. If a place is rife with something bad, it is very common in that place. This part of the country is rife with disease. Soul. When something is the sole thing, it is the only thing of a particular type. His sole purpose in life was to help others. Sweep. If you sweep the floor, you clean it with a tool like a broom or a brush. There is a lot of dirt on the floor. Can you sweep it, please? Treachery. Treachery is a behavior in which a person betrays a country or a person. The man ran away to escape from the treachery of his wife. Tuck. To tuck something means to put it somewhere so that it is neat or safe. He looked sloppy without his shirt being tucked into his pants. The betrayal. A king lived in a fort with his daughter Clara. The king had founded a great empire, but his land was rife with enemies who wanted to take over the kingdom. Because there was so much civil unrest, the king told Clara not to trust anyone. One day, Clara was walking outside when she saw a girl sweeping the path. Clara crossed the garden, and they started talking. The girl's name was Susie. Clara felt sorry for Susie because she was very poor, and Clara gave her a bracelet. After that, Susie and Clara met every day. Once the king saw them talking, he told Clara, "Don't talk to that girl. She could be an enemy." "You can't distrust everyone," commented Clara. "She is my sole friend. It's okay to be friendly to people," the king said. "Don't argue with me." Stay inside from now on and talk to no one. Clara felt lonely in the fort, but one day she saw Susie outside. She wrote her a note with a map showing a secret entrance to the fort. Clara wrote, "Come at night and we can talk together. Don't show anybody this note." She threw the note to Susie, and Susie tucked it in the lining of her dress. That night, Clara waited for Susie. But she heard something ticking, and then a loud blast. She ran into the hall, and it was full of smoke, which made her choke. A mass of soldiers were there fighting. Clara realized that Susie had betrayed her and given the map to her father's enemies. Clara prayed that everyone in the castle would be safe from her friend's treachery. At last, the fighting ceased. Clara found her father in the hall with his soldiers. They had defeated their enemies, but there were dents in their armor from the heavy fighting. Clara told her father what she had done and promised never to disobey him again. Background. A background is a person's education, family, and experience. The new teacher had a background in science and math. Bait. Bait is something used to trick a person or thing to do something. The best bait for catching fish is a big fat worm. Chronicle. 
To chronicle something means to record an event or speech. The daily newspaper chronicles local and world events. Copper. Copper is a red-brown metal often used in electric wire and pipes. Ancient hunters melted copper to make knives and spears. Disease. A disease is an illness that causes specific problems. He had a disease that caused him to lose his hearing. Folklore. Folklore is the collection of beliefs and stories of a culture. India's folklore has stories written in long poems about great warriors. In fact, to infect someone means to give them an illness. The common cold infects hundreds of millions of people each year. Itch. To itch means to rub the skin with your fingernails. The rough fabric in his shirt made the back of his neck itch. Literature. Literature is books, plays, and poetry. Early American literature covers the poetry and stories from 1500 to 1800. Millennium. A millennium is 1,000 years. Stonehenge is believed to have been built about five millenniums ago. Myth. A myth is a traditional story that explains a culture's history and beliefs. In Greece, there was a myth about a woman who had snakes for hair. Relate. To relate to something means to have a connection with it. A company's plan usually relates to how much profit it can make. Religion. A religion is a belief in a god or gods. Their religion taught that people should forgive their enemies. Sum. A sum is a specific amount of money. He calculated the numbers to see what the sum of his bills would be. Teller. A teller is a person who works with a bank's customers. The teller at the bank helped Kelly put money into a savings account. Trustworthy. If someone is trustworthy, they are honest and truthful. Mary is one of the most trustworthy people I've ever met. Update. To update something means to make it more modern. We need to update the programs on our computers. Vein. A vein is a tube in the body that carries blood toward the heart. The blue veins in my hand are just under my skin. Venom. Venom is a poisonous substance that comes from animals or plants. A snake's venom can be used to cure the illnesses it creates. Promote. To promote someone means to raise them to a higher position or rank. After two years in the company, she was promoted to a manager. The teller and the thieves. A teller at a bank suspected some of her fellow employees of not being very trustworthy. She thought they were stealing. In order to catch them, though, she needed some way to link them to the crime. She had a background in religion and folklore. She remembered that one religion's literature had a myth that chronicled how a group of thieves was captured. In the millennium-old story, coins of copper were covered with venom taken from a poisonous snake. The coins were left as bait for the robbers. When they touched the coins, the venom infected their bodies through their skin. The venom ran through their veins, and they all became very sick, as if they had a disease. It made their skin purple.
the police arrested whoever had purple skin. She knew she couldn't use venom because it might hurt someone. However, she thought of a way to update the old story. She decided to cover a sum of money with a special powder. If people touched the money, the powder would cause their skin to itch. She placed the stack of money in the bank safe. No one was supposed to take money from the safe. If somebody did, then they had to be stealing. Within a few hours, three of her co-workers were scratching their hands and arms. They itched so badly that they couldn't even work. She checked the money, and it was gone. She told her boss what she had done, and he had the thieves arrested. He thanked her and promoted her. Because events from history often repeat, ancient literature had helped the teller solve a crime. She proved that stories from the past still relate with the problems of today, and they can be helpful in solving problems. Charity. Charity is an act of giving help, usually money, to those who need it. Thanks to his friend's charity, he had enough money to pay the rent. Commerce. Commerce is the activity of buying and selling things. The new shopping mall increased the commerce in that section of town. Condemn. To condemn someone means to give them a specific punishment. The judge condemned the criminal to five years in prison. Cozy. If something is cozy, then it is comfortable, warm, and relaxing. The thick blanket made the bed very cozy. Deplete. To deplete an amount of something means to use up all of it. All the driving he was doing was depleting his car's fuel supply. Economy. An economy is the money and businesses of a country or region. The factory was good for the economy because it brought jobs to the area. Empire. An empire is a large group of countries ruled by an emperor or empress. The emperor built roads to make travel easier throughout the empire. Goods. Goods are anything that can be bought or sold. Shoes, hats, dresses, and purses were the goods she wanted to buy. Heed. To heed something means to obey or follow it. You should heed the advice on the sign and not drive so fast. Hitchhike. To hitchhike means to travel by asking for rides from passing vehicles. She didn't have a car, so she hitchhiked several miles to her brother's home. Mock. To mock someone means to tease them in a cruel way. The girls mocked Nancy because she was a new student. Neutral. If someone is neutral, then they do not help either of the two fighting sides. The girl's friend remained neutral while the couple was arguing. Persecute. To persecute means to treat someone badly. Dan felt persecuted because he was smaller than the other boys at school. Pity. Pity is the feeling of sadness and kindness for those who are suffering. Because she had pity for the lost boy, she helped him find his parents. Reduce. To reduce something means to make it less in size or number. When the store reduced its prices, people wanted to shop there. Scribe. A scribe was a person whose job was to copy written works. In ancient Egypt, scribes recorded important events. Temper. A temper is someone's mood or a chance that they might get angry. She has a temper, 
Even the slightest mistakes make her angry. Throne. A throne is the special chair in which a ruler sits. Nobody except the king and queen sat in the thrones in the great hall. Unity. Unity is the state of people working together for a certain purpose. The project was finished early, thanks to the unity of the workers. Victor. A victor is a group or person that wins in a contest. At the end of the game, the blue team was the victor. The scribe's warning. A great and powerful empire needed the wood from its western areas to build palaces and homes for the emperor and his friends. However, the empire had depleted many of the forests. The trees were important to the western area's economy. With no trees to sell, the commerce in that area was reduced. Citizens could no longer purchase the goods that they needed to survive. Their life became difficult. A poor scribe from the area wanted to help. He hitchhiked to the capital to ask the emperor for charity. He was invited to the palace. It was large and cozy. Tables were loaded with food. And fires burned warmly in every fireplace. The emperor sat up upon his throne, and the scribe stood in front of him. "I've come to ask for help," the scribe said. "We're all very poor and hungry. You've used up all of the forests, and now we have nothing to sell." Then he added a warning: "If we don't receive help, I'm afraid that the entire empire will suffer." We must establish some unity. Upon hearing the scribe's request, the emperor's bad temper surfaced. He mocked the scribe. "You think I should help?" he said and laughed. "You should just be happy to belong to this great empire. You will get nothing from me." The emperor felt no pity for the citizens of the western area. They were condemned to starve. The scribe returned home with nothing. Not long after, an enemy invaded the empire from the west. They were marching to the capital. Because the citizens felt persecuted by the emperor, they remained neutral. They didn't fight the invaders, but allowed them to march freely to the capital. The emperor was defeated. If he had heeded the words of the scribe, then the citizens might have been the victors. But because he had treated them badly. They treated him badly in return. Accurate. If something is accurate, it is completely correct. The story in the newspaper wasn't very accurate. Analyze. To analyze something is to study it. The scientist will analyze the blood sample. Asteroid. An asteroid is a giant rock from outer space. In 1908, a giant asteroid hit Siberia. Controversy. A controversy is a dispute about something that affects many people. There has been a lot of controversy over the judge's decision. Evolve. To evolve is to change over time. Many people think that humans evolved from animals. Factor. A factor is something that has an effect on the way another thing happens. Smoking is the main factor that causes lung cancer. Genetic. If something is genetic. It is related to the genes in one's body. The color of one's eyes is genetic. Genome. A genome is the collection of all the genes in a living thing. Understanding the human genome may help cure many diseases. Identical. 
To be identical is to be the same as someone or something else. James and John are identical twins. Intellectual. An intellectual is a very smart person. We've always considered my uncle Max the intellectual of the family. Majority. A majority of something is almost all of the people or things in that group. A majority of the people voted for Tom Smith in the election. Mammal. A mammal is an animal that usually has hair and is not born from an egg. Even though it lives in the water, whales are actually mammals. Multiply. To multiply is to increase in number. In the past year, the number of people at work multiplied by ten percent. Offspring. Offspring are the children of a person or the babies of an animal. The dog's offspring had the same color of fur as she did. Pesticide. A pesticide is a substance used to kill insects. The farmer sprayed his crops with a pesticide to keep bugs away. Regulate. To regulate something is to control how it happens. The bank regulates how much money people can borrow from it. Reinforce. To reinforce something is to make it stronger. Peter reinforced his opinion with information from a book. Stricken. If one is stricken by a disease or problem, they are badly affected by it. Mike was stricken with a horrible illness. Vast. If something is vast, it is very large. The wealthy man bought a vast amount of land in the countryside. Vegetarian. A vegetarian is someone who does not eat any meat products. I became a vegetarian because I don't like the taste of meat. How the dinosaurs really died. Many scientists and intellectuals think that dinosaurs died when an asteroid smashed into the Earth millions of years ago. However, recently there has been some controversy over this theory. Some scientists think that it isn't accurate. They think that a tiny insect may have been the biggest factor in the death of these huge creatures. That insect was the mosquito. These scientists do think that an asteroid hit the Earth in the time of the dinosaurs. But that wasn't what killed all of them. At that time, insects, including the mosquito, were beginning to evolve. Today, we can regulate the number of mosquitoes with pesticides. But that was impossible millions of years ago. The mosquitoes multiplied quickly, and they were certainly not idle. Since there were so many mosquitoes, it was easy for them to bite many of the dinosaurs. When they bit another living thing, the mosquitoes passed along a deadly disease. So. The dinosaurs were stricken with the disease. A vast majority of them, from the vegetarians to the meat eaters, died. To reinforce this idea, scientists stress how gradually the dinosaurs died. If an asteroid killed them, they would have died very quickly. But the number of dinosaurs decreased slowly. In addition, scientists have found genetic material of mosquitoes in fossils. This material proves that mosquitoes existed back then. Although there may have been other factors, the dinosaurs died mainly because of disease. The scientists say, no matter how it happened, the dinosaurs' death had a major impact on other living things. Many dinosaurs ate mammals. After the dinosaurs died, mammals were able to evolve and produce offspring. Birds also evolved. Scientists have analyzed the genomes of birds, and they discovered that birds have identical genetic material to some dinosaurs. So there may still be dinosaurs among us after all. Cherish. 
To cherish something means to hold it as very important. I cherish this trophy I won. Compassion. Compassion is a feeling of understanding for someone who is hurt or suffering. The veterinarian had compassion for the sick little puppy. Consent. Consent is permission to do something. Their mother gave the children consent to go outside and play. Core. The core is the center of something. The rings of a tree start forming at its core. Cunning. If someone is cunning, they are good at tricking people. The cunning child fooled his parents into thinking that he was kind. Dizzy. If someone is dizzy, then they feel off balance, as if they will fall down. The pregnant woman was dizzy after standing up too quickly. Equilibrium. Equilibrium is the balance between different forces. The sudden drop in prices upset the equilibrium of the economy. Foster. To foster a feeling or a skill means to help it develop. She helped foster a sense of calm in the little boy. Grind. To grind something means to break it into very small pieces or powder. She wanted to grind the beans so she could brew some coffee. Growl. To growl means to make a deep, angry sound. The dog started to growl at the man walking by. Moderation. Moderation is a state of being just enough, but not too much. It is important to eat in moderation so that you can have a healthy body. Predator. A predator is an animal that kills and eats other animals. The peregrine falcon is a predator that eats fish. Sane. If someone is sane, they can think in a normal way. Oliver does not act like a sane person when he is angry. Saucer. A saucer is a small round dish that you set a cup on. He placed the spoon on the saucer. Snatch. To snatch something means to take it away with a quick motion. He was so hungry that he snatched an apple from a tree. Stagger. To stagger means to move in an unsteady way and almost fall over. He staggered around after having too much to drink. Stumble. To stumble means to put your foot down wrong so that you almost fall. He stumbled as he ran through the puddle. Tense. If someone is tense. They are worried something bad might happen. After the phone call, Monica was very tense. Tumble. To tumble means to fall, often in a rolling way. He lost his balance while snowboarding and tumbled to the ground. Withhold. To withhold something is to not give it to someone. They withheld all information until she paid her fine. The traveler and the innkeeper. A traveler stopped at an inn. He sat and watched people closely, like a predator. He heard the old innkeeper talking to a young man in the core of the inn. I just need to borrow some money. I swear that I'll spend it in moderation, and my friend will pay you back tomorrow. The man said, "The innkeeper gave his consent, 
and pulled out some money. The traveler knew that this was a trick. The man was going to leave with the poor innkeeper's money and never return. He felt compassion for the nice innkeeper and did not want him to be tricked. The cunning traveler decided to teach the innkeeper a lesson. The traveler walked over to the innkeeper and sat down. The innkeeper had started to grind coffee beans to make coffee. He made the coffee and handed the traveler a saucer and a cup. The two started talking. After a while, the traveler yawned and then growled like a wolf. "Are you not sane? I thought I just heard you growl," said the innkeeper. "I did. I am cursed. Every time I yawn three times in a row, I turn into a wolf and attack people." The innkeeper became tense. Then the traveler yawned again. As the traveler started to yawn a third time, the innkeeper turned to run outside. As he ran, the traveler snatched his coat. The scared innkeeper staggered outside and tumbled into the street. The traveler followed him out because he did not want to withhold the truth any longer. He just wanted to foster happiness and restore the innkeeper's emotional equilibrium. The innkeeper was dizzy and he stumbled. The traveler helped him stand up. That was a trick, the traveler said as he returned the coat. Oh, good! I cherish this coat," responded the innkeeper. "Well, hopefully this will teach you that you shouldn't believe every story that you hear." Aircraft. An aircraft is a vehicle that flies in the sky, such as an airplane or helicopter. At the museum in the airport, you can see a lot of old aircraft. Celebrity. A celebrity is someone who is famous. It was the highlight of the evening when the celebrities arrived. Concrete. Concrete is a substance made from stones. The man covered the ground with concrete. Decisive. If someone is decisive, they make decisions quickly. Our boss is very decisive, so it did not take long to organize the project. Esteemed. If someone is esteemed, many people like or respect them. An esteemed scientist is coming to the university to talk about her discoveries. Ethical. If something is ethical, it is the right thing to do. Many people believe that it is ethical to help others in need. Extinct. If plants or animals are extinct, there are none left. There used to be dinosaurs all over the world, but now they are extinct. Hardy. If a person or plant is hardy, it is strong and can live through difficult conditions. The farmer is a hardy man and doesn't mind working outside. Institute. An institute is an organization that is interested in research or teaching. I am going to a lecture about ancient Rome at the historical institute. Jealousy. Jealousy is a feeling of wanting something that somebody else has. She felt a lot of jealousy when she saw Luke with two girls. Migrate. To migrate means to move from one place to another. Many birds migrate to warmer countries in the winter. Nurture. To nurture something means to care for it as it grows or develops. Robert nurtured his plants, and that is why they grow so well. Overhead. If something is overhead, it is located above you. As we sat on top of the hill, a plane flew overhead. Principle. 
A principle is a belief about the correct way to behave. To maintain principles, it's vital to watch, listen, and speak carefully. Rural. If a place is rural, it is in the countryside instead of the city. I want to live in a small house in a rural area. Secluded. If a place is secluded, it is far away from any other place. There was a secluded bench in the park. Species. A species is a type of plant or animal. There are twenty-one different species of butterfly in this forest. Swamp. A swamp is a very wet area of land. There are lots of wild animals living in the swamp. Traverse. To traverse means to move or travel through an area. The explorer traversed the desert alone on a camel. Zoology. Zoology is a subject in which people study animals. Helen wants to study zoology because she has always liked animals. Gilbert and the lizard. Eliza disliked Australia. Firstly, she'd had to spend twenty uncomfortable hours on an aircraft getting here. She wanted to go to the beach, but her husband was a zoology professor and wanted to look for some interesting animals. So now she was traversing a swamp in the midday heat. Let me sit down, Gilbert. I'm not hardy like you," she said eventually. They sat under a tree. There were lots of birds in that secluded rural place, and they watched them flying overhead. Then suddenly, Gilbert saw something on a rock. "That's strange," said Gilbert. "That looks like a red swamp lizard, but I thought that species was extinct." He carefully picked it up. "Yes, it is. I'm going to take it back to the zoology institute. They will be filled with so much jealousy when they see what I have found." "Are you sure we should take it from its home?" asked Eliza. Nonsense! Many animals migrate. They're used to changes," said Gilbert. "Hmm. I don't agree with the principle of it," said Eliza. "It isn't ethical." But Gilbert was decisive and took the lizard back to the hotel in the city. He thought that this find would make him a highly esteemed celebrity at the Zoology Institute. For the next few days, Gilbert fed and nurtured the lizard, but the lizard wasn't happy. It lost its beautiful red color and began to look ordinary. In fact, Gilbert started to wonder whether it was special at all. He went outside and found a common lizard on a piece of concrete. When he compared them, they looked exactly alike. The lizard was only red in the swamp. Gilbert said to Eliza, "I'm going to return this lizard to the swamp. I've learned an important lesson. Home is where we are happiest. At home, we are special, like the red lizard." We can never be so happy when we are away. Good," said Eliza. "So can we go home now?" Assumption. An assumption is something that you believe is true but cannot prove. I went to the cafeteria on the assumption that everyone would be there. Barley. Barley is a grain that is used for animal feed, health food, and beer. The farmer grew barley to feed his cows in the winter. Beast. A beast is a large, dangerous animal. A lion is one of the fiercest beasts on earth. Colonel. A colonel is a military officer. James has been given a promotion in the army. He is now a colonel. Contagious. If a disease is contagious, it is easily carried from one person to another. You must wear protective clothing because the patient's illness is contagious. Corpse. A corpse is a dead body of a human. 
After the accident, the corpse was taken to the hospital. Crisis. A crisis is a situation that is extremely stressful or dangerous. The airport workers' strike led to a crisis at the airport. Cure. To cure means to cause an illness or injury to end or disappear. My dentist cured me of my toothache. Deformed. If something is deformed, it is not shaped normally and may appear ugly. Even though the carrot was deformed, it was still safe to eat. Discriminate. To discriminate means to judge people according to their looks. They discriminated against her because she was different. Embassy. An embassy is where government officials work in a foreign country. If you lose your passport, you should contact the embassy. Extinguish. To extinguish a fire means to make it stop. Michael extinguished the small fire with the hose. Flint. Flint is a hard stone that people used to make weapons for hunting. There are a lot of flint tools in the museum. Harass. To harass someone means to annoy or trouble them. The children harassed their mother because they wanted her attention. Integrate. To integrate means to join, communicate, and socialize. Governments want immigrants to integrate with the population. Miniature. If something is miniature, it is very small. The boy enjoys playing with his miniature train set in his bedroom. Nutrition. Nutrition is the process by which people use food to stay healthy. It is important to pay attention to nutrition if you want to be an athlete. Promptly. If something happens promptly, it happens quickly or on time. Arrive promptly, or we won't have time to discuss everything. Technician. A technician is a person who is skilled in electronic or mechanical work. I need to call the technician to help me with my computer. Tropics. The tropics are the areas of land and sea close to the equator. People like to go to the tropics for vacation because it's warm. The forest people. Colonel Wilbur and his wife Mary were flying over the tropics in their private plane, but suddenly the engine caught fire. It was impossible to extinguish the fire, so they were forced to land in the forest. What are we going to do? said Mary. Can you fix the plane? Wilbur said, "That's impossible. I am not a technician, and the plane is out of gasoline. We'll have to find help." Wilbur and Mary walked through the forest. It was difficult to find a path through the trees. Mary even tore her dress on sharp thorns. Suddenly, they saw some huts and lots of miniature people cooking and making weapons with flint. "I'll ask them for help," said Wilbur. "No, don't go. They are deformed," said Mary. "They'll harass us. They may have a contagious virus that will make us sick. We won't know how to cure it." We'll surely end up as corpses. Wilbur tried to persuade Mary to go to the forest people, but she refused to integrate with them. She had the assumption that the small people were dangerous. Let's keep walking. We're sure to find someone sooner or later. For three days, the couple searched, but they found no one who could help them in their crisis. It was uncomfortable, and they were hungry without any source of nutrition. Plus. The forest was filled with dangerous beasts. 
Finally, Mary agreed to return to the forest people. When Wilbur and Mary arrived at the village, the forest people immediately welcomed them. They gave them bread made from barley to eat and a place to sleep. The next day, the forest people led Wilbur and Mary through the trees, and they promptly arrived at a small town. From there, they took a bus to the city, where they found an embassy. Mary was sorry that she had not trusted the forest people sooner. She learned the value of not discriminating against people who are different. Beneficial. If something is beneficial, it is good for you. Drinking milk every day is beneficial to your bones. Birthplace. A birthplace is a place where a person is born or where something started. China is the birthplace of chopsticks. Capacity. The capacity of something is the amount of things that can be put in it. The parking lot has reached its full capacity. Comparative. If something is comparative, it is being judged based on something else. The money that John has is comparative to most other adults. Comprehensive. If something is comprehensive, it has all the details about something else. The teacher gave us a comprehensive review for the exam. Conserve. To conserve something is to protect it from being ruined or used completely. The group worked to conserve the beauty of Europe's national parks. Crucial. If something is crucial, it is extremely important to another thing. Clean air is crucial to the survival of humans, plants, and animals. Cumulative. Cumulative describes an increase by adding one after another. The cumulative snowfall in the area is 50 centimeters per year. Deposit. To deposit something is to put it into a place or another thing. I deposited the money into my bank account. Distribute. To distribute something is to give it to a number of people. The teacher distributed crayons and markers to his students. Equator. The equator is an imaginary line that splits the Earth into north and south. The equator crosses the northern part of South America. Exotic. Exotic describes something unusual because it is from far away. Rebecca tried many exotic foods on her trip to Africa. Federal. If something is federal, it comes from the government of a country. Sometimes federal laws are different from state laws. Formation. A formation is the way that something is made. The formation of ice happens when water freezes. Frequency. The frequency of something is the number of times that it happens. The frequency of rainstorms is very high, especially during the spring. Objective. An objective is a goal or plan that someone has. My objective this week is to finish my homework by 7:30 every night. Oxygen. Oxygen is a gas that all living things need to breathe. My aunt believes that the oxygen in the country is cleaner than in the city. Rainforest. A rainforest is a forest that is in a place where it rains very often. The rainforest is home to many animals.
strategy. A strategy is a plan for how to do something. The team came up with a strategy to win the game. Wooded. If an area is wooded, it is covered with trees. Jim and Ben decided to go hiking in the wooded area by the river. A dying forest. Rainforests provide much of the world's oxygen supply, but the forest's exotic trees and animals are being killed to make room for farmers and roads. People have been trying to conserve rainforests for years, but another type of forest, the cloud forest, is just as beneficial to humans. Cloud forests are also in danger of disappearing, but little is being done to save them. These forests are located at the tops of mountains, generally near the equator. These humid, wooded mountain tops are mainly in African and Central and South American countries. They are called cloud forests. Because their height allows for the formation of clouds among the trees, rainforests produce large amounts of oxygen. Cloud forests produce comparative amounts of water. The trees in these forests pull water out of the clouds. The moisture gathers on the leaves. When it drips, it is deposited into streams. The streams flow into towns at the bottom of the mountain. Then it's distributed to people. The yearly cumulative rainfall in these areas. Is 173 to 198 centimeters. Cloud forests can pull in up to 60 percent of that. This water is crucial to the plants and the people in the area. It helps them survive. Cloud forests are also the birthplace of countless species of plants that can't be found anywhere else. One small cloud forest has the capacity for as many types of plants as there are in all of Europe. There are so many, in fact. That scientists haven't made a comprehensive list of them yet. These forests are being destroyed with increasing frequency. Trees are being cut down and roads are being built in their place. Some people have an objective to get federal money to protect the forests, but they have had little success. Another strategy is to replace the destroyed plants. That too has been difficult because the plants are so unique. There's plenty of work to be done. But saving the cloud forests is still a possibility. A veil. A veil is help. It is often used in the achievement of a goal. His studying was to no avail because he failed the test. Expand. To expand is to become bigger in size. A balloon will expand as you blow air into it. Define. To define means to clearly state, show, or explain what something is. People define success in many different ways. Dread. To dread is to be afraid of something that could or is going to happen. I dread the idea that I will not get into college. Fundamental. If something is fundamental, it is a basic part of something. The fundamental rules for basketball are easy. Horrifying. If something is horrifying, it is frightening and very unpleasant. There was a horrifying car accident today. Incredulous. If someone is incredulous about something, they do not believe that it is true. She was incredulous that monkeys could ever drive a car. Linger. To linger is to last for a long time. The smell of fresh cookies lingered in the bakery. Organism. An organism is a living thing, especially a very small one. We studied the organism on the microscope. Paraphrase. To paraphrase is to make someone else's writing or speech shorter. The students were asked to paraphrase the story they just heard. 
plague. A plague is a serious disease that quickly spreads to many people. A plague in Europe killed millions of people. Presently. If something happens presently, it is happening right now. Presently, our profits are good, but by next year, we can do even better. Random. If something is random, it happens without any pattern or reason. Young children often ask random questions. Riot. A riot is a crowd that reacts to bad news by violently breaking laws. A riot broke out after the candidate lost the election. Scribble. To scribble is to write something quickly, without caring about how it looks. I scribbled a rough diagram of our plan and gave it to him. Shrine. A shrine is a religious building built to honor a person, event, or god. He prayed at the shrine for an hour. Solitude. Solitude is the state of being totally alone. John lives a life of solitude because he doesn't get along well with people. Stark. If a contrast is stark, then the things being compared are utterly different. There is a stark contrast between their test scores. Summon. To summon a person is to ask them to come to you. We summoned the doctor as soon as we noticed she was sick. Worsen. To worsen is to get worse. The weather suddenly worsened, and we had to stay inside. Thucydides and the Plague of Athens. Thucydides was the world's first historian. Presently, we get most of our knowledge about ancient Greece from his writing. But Thucydides didn't just write about history; he lived through it. However, he almost didn't survive one historical event: the plague of Athens. In 430 BCE, an army attacked the city of Athens, where Thucydides lived. Thousands of people hid from the army behind Athens' large walls. The city became very crowded as the population expanded. Then a horrifying disease broke out. People summoned doctors, but it was to no avail because no one understood how the disease spread. It seemed random. They didn't know that it was an organism. Instead, they defined disease as a punishment from their gods. Thucydides was incredulous that gods caused the plague, but he explained why others believed it. There was an old long verse which predicted the disease. To paraphrase it, the verse said the gods would send a disease during a war. As a result, large crowds gathered at shrines to ask the gods to stop the plague. But the situation only worsened because these people were so close to each other they became sick. That's how they learned a fundamental lesson about the plague. It spread from person to person. People wanted to leave the crowded city, but they dreaded what the army outside would do to them. At this time, Thucydides got sick too. He quickly scribbled down notes because he thought he would soon die. His writing shows a stark contrast between people's behavior before and during the plague. There were riots. And people ignored laws; they didn't think they'd live long enough to be punished. Many sick people were left to die in solitude because no one wanted to be near them. The plague lingered for two years, but luckily Thucydides survived. Without his writing, we would know much less about ancient Greece and the plague of Athens. Automobile. An automobile is a car. The first automobiles were very different from the ones that exist today. 
Candidate. A candidate is a person who is competing to win something, such as a job. Alice is the best candidate for the job. Confidential. If something is confidential, it must be kept secret. The information from the meeting is confidential. Corporate. If something is corporate, it is related to a large business. Tom enjoys working in the corporate world. Enhance. To enhance something is to make it better. Amy's blue shirt really enhances the color of her eyes. Era. An era is a period of time that has something special about it. During the medieval era, knights wore protective armor. Guideline. A guideline is a rule about how to do something. Before they began the project, the teacher gave them some guidelines. Incorporate. To incorporate is to add something to another thing. I decided to incorporate a new ingredient into my cake recipe. Interact. To interact is to talk to or do something with another person. The kids began to interact when the adults left the room. Interval. An interval is the time between two things happening. Tony rested for brief intervals while he worked in the yard. Mobile. If something is mobile, it can be moved easily. Mobile phones are popular because you can take them anywhere. Modify. To modify something is to change it a little bit. I modified my outfit by adding a belt to it. Parallel. If two things are parallel, they are the same distance away from each other. There are two yellow parallel lines dividing both sides of traffic. Phenomenon. A phenomenon is something that can be seen as it is happening. I was amazed when I saw the phenomenon of shooting stars. Pollute. To pollute means to make air, water, or land dirty, unclean, or foul. The careless factory polluted the river with chemicals. Ridicule. To ridicule is to make fun of something in a mean way. The other students ridicule Peter's foreign accent. Solar. If something is solar, it is related to the sun. Using solar energy is good for the environment. Territory. A territory is a piece of land that belongs to a country but isn't a state. Gibraltar is a territory of Great Britain. Tournament. A tournament is a competition, usually with many people participating. My dad is playing in a golf tournament tomorrow. Transportation. Transportation is any type of vehicle that can carry people or things. I don't have a car, so my normal transportation is the train. The solar car race. We live in a mobile society, but the cars we drive require too much gas. Plus, they pollute the air. Eventually, the natural resources used to make gas will run out. So, what happens then? Many people think solar-powered automobiles are the answer. To learn more about this type of transportation, teams from universities and corporate organizations gather in Australia every two years for a solar car race.
The race is called the World Solar Challenge. Candidates for this tournament must design their own cars. The teams keep all their plans confidential. They don't interact with other teams because the race is very competitive. And these cars aren't just enhanced and modified versions of normal cars, they are completely different. The cars only have room for one person and are very simple inside. They don't even have a cushion for the driver to sit on. These cars are shorter and much more flat than normal cars. Most importantly, the cars incorporate solar panels onto the outside that lie parallel to each other. These panels are made from materials that take in light from the sun and turn it into electric energy. That's how they move. These cars race over 3,000 kilometers across the Australian territories. The drivers have to heed strict guidelines. They must stop at certain intervals to charge their batteries. And unlike normal race cars, they can't go very fast. They have to drive at the normal speed limits. Although the drivers want to finish the race quickly, that is not the main goal. The objective is to see how well the cars work under normal driving conditions. Because of the World Solar Challenge, a new era in car making and in driving is beginning. People may ridicule the solar cars because they look strange, but this is a phenomenon that isn't going away. Using the technology from the vehicles, car makers will eventually create solar cars for the rest of us. Bill A bill is a statement of money owed for goods or a service. I have so many bills that I do not know how to pay for them all. Boundary A boundary is the line where one area of land stops and another begins. This fence shows the boundary between our yard and yours. Chaos. Chaos is a situation that is confusing and not ordered. His presentation was in chaos. I couldn't understand what he meant. Consistent. If a person is consistent, they keep the same behavior or attitude. Sarah comes in every day and is our most consistent worker. Cyclone. A cyclone is a large storm with heavy rain and winds that spin in a circle. Hundreds of homes were damaged by the cyclone. Doomed. If someone or something is doomed, they are going to fail or be destroyed. Since I spent all my money, my date with Jane is doomed. Heir. An heir is a person who receives money or property of someone who dies. The princess was the heir to the king and queen's throne. Martial. If something is martial, it is related to fighting or war. Karate is a martial art that began many years ago in Japan. Organic. If food is organic, it is grown without adding chemicals to it. The organic carrots are more expensive, but they're better for you. Poultry Poultry is a bird, such as a chicken, that is used for meat and eggs. He raises poultry and sells their meat for extra money. Scramble to scramble is to move somewhere quickly and desperately. The hikers scramble down the side of the hill. Sergeant A sergeant is a soldier or police officer of middle rank. He was promoted to sergeant after a year in the army. Sheer if you describe something as sheer, it is complete and very strong. I was impressed by her sheer dedication to jogging. Stance A stance is an attitude about an issue that someone states clearly. 
My stance is that using oil and gas is bad for the environment. Telegraph. A telegraph is a method of sending electric messages on wires. In the 1900s, the telegraph was the fastest way to send a message. Textile. Textile is cloth that has been woven or knitted. The blue textile was going to be used to make blouses. Tornado. A tornado is a tube-shaped formation of air that spins very quickly. During a tornado, the safest place is to be underground. Typhoon. A typhoon is a large tropical storm that moves in circles. Thousands of people lost electricity after a typhoon hit Australia. Wail. To wail is to show sadness by crying loudly. The baby wailed because it was hungry. Wardrobe. A wardrobe is the collection of all of a person's clothing. She bought some new clothes to expand her wardrobe. The heirs. Martin, Paul, and Tom were brothers. They were very different, but they were consistent about two things: they couldn't succeed in business, and they never agreed about anything. Martin was a hard-working farmer. Growing organic vegetables and raising poultry, but he was disorganized and forgot to pay his bills. Paul owned a textile factory that produced clothes. He was organized, but he was greedy and took too much clothing. His wardrobe was filled with his own products. Tom was once a sergeant in the army. He ran a martial arts school, but his stance on discipline was too strong. He had almost no students. One day, they received a telegram saying that their father had died. They were heirs to his old farm. They planned to sell it as soon as possible, so they went to see it, even though there was a terrible storm. The house didn't look great, but there was a lot of land. There was so much, in fact, that they could barely see its boundary. Suddenly, the storm got worse. The sheer force of the wind almost knocked them over. Martin said, "Look, it's a typhoon." Paul said, "No, it's a cyclone." Tom said, "No, it's a tornado." They argued until Paul began to wail and said, "Whatever it is, it's coming right at us. We're doomed." The three brothers scrambled inside the old house. Martin said, "If we survive, we must stop fighting. This farm could be great if we fixed it up." With my hard work, Paul's organization, and Tom's discipline, we could run a great business together. The storm finally ended, and luckily, it didn't wreck the farm. Just think, Martin said, it took the chaos of a typhoon to bring us together. Paul replied, "You mean a cyclone brought us together?" Tom said, "Didn't I tell you both that it was a tornado?" The brothers never agreed on what kind of storm it was. But by combining their skills, they started a successful farm.